In this video, we are going to continue with trigonometric equations. You will find this on page 198 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to 6x. Now, we will make use of identities to solve trigonometric equations. So, let's look at the first example. Quadratic trig equations or transform two quadratic trig equations. So find all the angles between 0 and 360 which satisfy the equation. Now this one you can see actually the quadratic equation. It is x squared x without an x. This one it's a little bit disguised. So you have to first do something before you will see it. Okay, but let's start with number A. Again, as soon as you see degrees, stop and make sure your calculator is on degrees. Now, okay, this one I can see it's already a quadratic equation. If you want, in the beginning especially, but it's not necessary, you can make, uh, you can make, say for example, and say cos x equals k, and then you can transform, because then it's maybe easier to see it. Because now, think of factorization, so it's 1 and 1, and it's 2 and 1, and it's in group A. So, hmm, it's not looking nice. Okay, so there's 2 plus 1, which is 3. The signs are the same, and both gets a negative. And then, instead, you can write kk, but now I'm just writing cos x, cos x. And that's why I get 2 cos x minus 1, cos x minus 1, that bracket, that bracket. Then I put this equals 0, and this equals 0. Now this one is very nice, it's a half, so where is cos positive? It's in quadrant 1 and 4, find your basic angle, that's 60, make it a bit bigger, sometimes it's so small, video, okay. okay, there it is. Okay, so it's 60, so it's 60 or 360 minus, so that's my two angles, okay, and then, now this one, as soon as you see 1, and, and if you're going to press on your calculator, let's just see, shift, cos 1. Okay, I get, I get 0. Okay, so, so it's 0 degrees, but I think as soon as you see 0 or 1, or negative 1, always make your sketch. Here is your sketch. Now, where is cos 1? Okay, here is 1. It's having line. You see, so it's at... 0 degrees, or, there it is, 360. Okay, so it's better to make a sketch. So if you see, as I said, 0, 1, negative 1, make a sketch. So why is this not included in the domain? Because this stands between 0 and 360. So this 0 is also not included. Do you see that? So basically, although this is solutions, but because this stands B, this two is scratch. And this is your only answer. So, if the question states between 0 and 360, it means that x can not be equal to 0 or 360. If x can be equal to 0 and 360, we write it as from 0 to 3. Then we will say from, not between. Uh, or uh, 0 and 3, we write it like that. But in this case, it's not. So, don't let them catch you out on, on that kind of things. Okay, and I actually in the line did now for you. Then let's look at the next one. Now the next one is actually nice, a little bit more complicated, but always you must just use your square identities to substitute. Never in that substitute in this one, always the square one. So substitute the identity, so in the square one. So in the place of sin you can put 1 minus cos, there I substitute it. Okay, and then I multiply, I take everything to one side, uh, that uh, negative 5, 3 is negative 2. Um, divide or multiply by a negative so that you signs now I can factorize. Okay, so now it's a quadratic. And again, take the numbers, just focus on the numbers. And this is in group A. So again, if I say 3 and 1, 2 and 1. Uh, so it's 2 plus 3 and that's 5. Excellent. Signs are the same. Positive, positive. And then it's just going to be cos x cos x. So it's 3 cos x plus 2 cos x plus 1. 
I put this equals zero or I put this equals zero. And then I'm just going to a negative two. So where is cos negative? There. What is my basic angle? There to two decimal places. So that the final answer is correct to one decimal place. There I did that. This one. Oh, remember what I said? As soon as you see uh, a, a, a zero, a one, a negative one, make a sketch. So where is cos negative one? There are. Pencil is not looking there. And it's 180. And now luckily it's in. So it's in that range. So the answers can be this or this or this. And that is my final answer. Okay. Just want to, this is, this is typical. This is how we use it. Very, very nice examples to ask in the examination or test. I want you just to do a number. Okay. I said free. Stop. Don't do free. Um, because I want to give you one that's a little bit uh, not against sin. So, because I see that one, don't do free. I said, let's do five. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Just making it smaller to get space. Okay. I read, solve for theta if this and this. So stop, make sure your calculator is on degrees. Okay, now we can write it. So 5, and it's 3, tan squared theta equals 2 sec squared theta plus 1. And what is my range? My interval? To mine actually, not range. Okay. Okay. Now, I have to go, I have to first recall my, now, I, if you sit in the exams and you know it's a square identity, but you cannot recall it, then I, I just want to show you how to recall it. Always go from the basic one. Since square, that's one is easy to remember. That's one. Now, if you see one must get tan, so then you must divide by cos. If you want to get um, cot, then you divide, say, then you will divide by sin. Now, I want to get tan, so I divide by squared. Or squared x. Squared. So, I get tan squared x plus 1 equals, this This is sec, because third letter is c, sec squared x. Okay. So if I want to get tan, then it will be 6 squared x minus 1. Do you see? So that's a way to, just to reason it out if you didn't memorize it. So it will be 6 squared x minus 1 in, in the place of that equals 2 6 squared theta 1. So that is going to be 3 6 squared x minus 3, minus 2, 6 squared. I just want to see if it's theta or x. Seems to me I'm incorrect. It's theta. So this one will also be theta. Just make sure. Just look at the original one. Okay. So 2, 6 squared theta minus 1 equals 0. So what do I end up with? 3, 6 squared theta. Um, I just want to see. Um, minus 3. So this is going to be minus 2, 6 squared theta. Okay, now I can already simplify so, um, this one. So if I'm looking at this, I'm getting, I can already simplify. I'm thinking that I will now get a trinomial. That was my problem. Now I realize, uh-uh, uh-uh, this is the same. This is the same. So I'm getting 3, so it's 6 squared theta minus 4 equals 0. Okay, so this will be 6 squared theta is equal to 4. So cos squared theta, put it over 1, equal to a quarter. Okay, uh, 
I think this one is going to give, I'm going to show you other option also, but this is going to be the same. So I can either, because cos, show you now, other method also. So cos theta equals plus minus square root of a half, okay, and uh, not a half, but a quarter. And what is the square root? Uh, let's just get square root of 0 0.25 is a half. So I have cos theta equals positive a half or cos theta equals me. I just want to stop here before I continue. I want to show you if somebody, and I think in the teacher's guide, it's like this. Okay, so in the teacher's guide, I, I handle it as difference between two squares. And I was making it, oh, let's just get my pen correct. I was handling it as, come on, come on, um, sec theta minus 2, sec theta plus 2. And that is equal to zero. So sec theta equals positive two or sec theta equals negative two. And if I then make it cos theta, it's positive a half or cos theta is negative a half. That's exactly the same. So it doesn't matter as long as you come to this two. Now I can go to the sketches. And we did that in previous videos. So basically, if I now go into the sketch, it's just the whole course diagram. Because um, I'm just going to say, where is it positive? Um, it's positive, cos, there, and there. No, no, cos is positive, there, that too. And cos is negative, this too. And still I get my basic angle. And in this case, my basic angle, very nice, is 60 degrees. That's all 60 degrees. So then, I'm just going to get that theta is 60. Okay, I can know. Okay, if I first going to see, say where it's positive, I'm going to say it's 60 degrees or theta, this one, is 360 minus 60 degrees, which is 300 degrees. Or theta is equal to 180 minus 60 degrees, which is 120 degrees. Or theta is equal to 180 plus 60 degrees, which is 240 degrees. So, therefore, therefore, theta, and I'm going to try to put it in order, is 60 degrees or theta is equal to 120 degrees or theta is equal to 240 degrees or theta is equal to 300 degrees. That is my final.